How the F do you make friends as an adult if you don't drink? Related. I drink a fuck ton and I don't have many friends. Hobbies. Edit. To many comments to reply. 2. Thanks for the awards however put it towards charity I have no use for them. Hobbies alone was a broad statement. Basically the goal is to meet new people. Seek discomfort is a good phrase and a good model presentation of how to meet new people. Google their YouTube channel. Hobbies can be good but it's hard to find the small groups that have no internet presence. Volunteering. Charity work. Etc. is more aimed at helping X. While you benefit in socializing. My anecdote. Others may vary. The other fishing. Hunting. Etc. groups come from making connections. Door knocking. Leaving letter etc. asking for permission and slowly building a blue book of properties to hunt and fish while cleaning up their property in return. Plus you can ask if they want me to take anyone in their family with me or can I bring a person over etc. after trust is built. Lastly. If anyone reads my handle. It's okay to be alone. I'm alone but not lonely. I have read it to come socialize with you asshole smiley face. But fr it's okay to only have a hand few friends you connect with. The key aspect of friendship is respect. If they don't respect your time nor you as a person as you do them. They aren't your friend. Edit. The YT channel isn't seek discomfort. That's their catchphrase. It is yes theory without the quotations. Borrow tools and actually give them back. I started inviting people from online dating sites who said they were looking for friends to play DND. Some of them were actually looking for friends. I also started a fencing group in my area and advertised it in relevant Facebook groups. A few people showed up and now we occasionally do things that aren't fencing related. Slowly. Hobbies. Community involvement. Through work. Good luck. You see someone doing something you do or like to do or are curious. Hit M with a compliment and then with a follow-up question. Met some of my best friends because I liked the colon they were wearing ha ha ha. And hash X200B. Edit. Cologne. Keeping the error. I am not myself today. Edit. Damn you people and the unrelenting colon comments. Edit. Thank you for running the train on me with rewards. Have you considered joining a cult? Join clubs. Meetups. Activities. Hobbies. Work. Volunteer. Online. Or simply go out to socialize during the day or early evenings. The closest I have gotten to making new friends is through. And hash X200B. One my kids sports. Just hanging with the other parents or coaching teams. I don't consider any of them to be friends. But we enjoy hanging out and shooting the breeze at games. But once sports are over, I'll never see them again. But if I run into them randomly. I'm sure we'll chat for a minute, solid acquaintances. And hash X200B. Two video games, just having a regular group of randoms in a server regularly is nice. I play a racing game and the others are typically all from other countries. But text chat is fun and it's at least interaction with people I don't live with. And hash X200B. And hash X200B. If I really wanted friends. I'd probably have to go back in time and do a better job keeping in touch with my old group of buddies, beyond here as an edit due to it's never too late to keep in touch reply. Edit yes. I agree it's usually never too late. But when you literally don't even know what to say. Or talk about with an old friend. Who is a very good friend. And you are hoping that you can just talk about their kids sports. I think it is pretty damn late. But this happens to millions of people. It's normal. And I don't dwell or recommend anyone else dwell on it. My parents, mid-70s, moved into a 55-plus housing community, houses not assisted living, and they've made, friendly, with neighbors. Play cards. Pop in, for a drink on occasion. So maybe it gets easier later. And hash X200B. And I am not really, sad, about not having friends. I am a bit, to myself, and enjoy short earnest conversations with the many people I've gotten to know. My turn to shine since I moved countries 3x as an adult. Ranked from most effective to least. Work. Never eat lunch alone. Organize hangouts after work. Professional networking organizations. Nothing bonds more than hating your industry, job together. Going out alone and chatting up strangers. Woman here and have befriended men who approached me this way. So don't say this won't work for men. You just have to genuinely want to be friends instead of being a creeper. 
If you have kids and they have kids. They'll want to be friends. Reddit. If someone in a niche subreddit you're into happens to mention they live in your city. Just go. Hey. I live there too. Want to meet up? The more niche the sub. The higher chance of making friends. Random fun classes, activities. If you're both into it. You probably will click. Online dating. Surprisingly made many good friends of this. Of course some were with benefits. New mom groups. Everyone is depressed to a certain degree. Sleep deprived and desperate for support. Social media. Made a few genuine friends. Also got some creepers so it's a gamble. The friends that I have made in adulthood were not made through boozy social situations. Even though I'm Irish and we love our boozy socials. And hash x200b. I've made friends through work and through hobbies, I love taking fun classes. I like taking dance classes mostly and when you're going to the same class week in. Week out. You get talking to the other people at the class and friendships can blossom. And hash x200b. You can be friendly and smiley and strike up a bit of conversation and from that you build up a bit of rapport. I made friends by asking a couple of the girls if they'd like to grab a coffee after class and then it became a weekly thing. Coffee after class. And hash x200b. It doesn't have to be dance. Any kind of class works. Even if it's an educational one. Evening classes are a great place to make new friends. And hash x200b. Then, and I know everyone's workplace is different. Certainly mine is very easy to make friends, through work you can make some nice friends. Sit with people at lunch hour instead of eating at your desk or in your car. Chat to people during the workday and find out things about them, if they have a family. If they have any hobbies etc. Then, when you build up a bit of friendliness ask them if they'd like to go for lunch or, yes I know. Again, a coffee after work and so forth and hash x200b. It definitely helps to be friendly and outgoing. I'm not naturally outgoing but I am naturally a very friendly person so I guess that makes me approachable. So try to be approachable and learn the art of small. Friendly talk. You stand too close to random people at the groceries and when they ask you what's your problem. You tell them you don't have any friends. Then you hug it out and become friends. Alcoholics Anonymous Meetings. Be passionate about some stuff that adds substance to your life. You don't need a lot of friends. When you talk to people, strangers, co-workers etc. Be your 100% genuine self. This should help you avoid being a doormat. If you find you're still a doormat you should revisit step 1. My best friend and I really only share a couple things. Our love of gangster rap and 90s hardcore punk. And our beliefs in undying. Over the top self-empowerment. That's not exactly shit I hear people talking about at parties. Oh yeah on my way over I was bumping some fucking McBreed and yelling at myself in the rear view look at what you've done with your life M-O-T-H-E-R-F-U-C-K-E-R. -E -E How far you've come. Keep fucking going. Crush the opposition bitch let's go. Like I said. Be your 100% genuine self. By engaging in activities where drinking isn't the priority. Go to a repeating class at a gym or yoga studio and or volunteer at a yoga studio or gym class. Get a part-time job or volunteer somewhere interesting to you and meet co-workers over time. Like a museum, community center, library, foreign language school, cultural center. I know it's hard, I also don't drink. I've missed out on many friendships and several relationships with people I felt naturally compatible with because of it. It's a real bonding part of social life for the apparently large majority of society. In my experience, adults don't want friends. They want activity partners. Pick an activity that you enjoy doing. Find some people to do it with. If you're lucky, some friendships will organically arise from that. If you're really lucky, they'll even stay friends with you after one or both of you stop doing that activity. But mostly, people just want activity partners. Volunteer. I became a Girl Scout leader and have become friends with some of the other leaders and some of the parents from my troop. Finding groups for hobbies. Which is easier when there isn't a pandemic going on. Dungeons and Dragons is what worked for me. Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Sports. Climbing. Archery. Martial Arts. European Martial Arts. Historical Reenactment. Book and Theater Clubs. I wonder. Is there a platonic dating app yet? Tinder. Grinder. Planter. 
Copyright, trademark the 26th of March 2021. Make a free hugs. Sign and get up early enough to snatch the street corner from the homeless dude. Tabletop war and fantasy game groups? If you're around or in a city, walking a dog is the best conversation starter. This is so true. For all the people saying, join a sports team. Whilst that can be generally true, it's one, not possible in a lot of places just now due to COVID restrictions and two, overlooks the fact that almost inevitably sports social events end up involving lots of drinking. Adults don't care if you drink. Now, many adults do enjoy drinking. But actual adults don't really care if you just want to hang out. I'm in my 30s. I do drink. My wife doesn't. Here's the thing in your 30s. Y'all go to a brewery or some such, well not so much lately. And the whole group will always have a few people not drinking for any or all of the following reasons. Driving. Pregnant. On a prescription that makes it inadvisable. Don't feel like it. Don't like what's available. The flesh drinks only blood. And generally no one cares if they're a mature group worth hanging out with. Here's the question to ask. Do you mean that you only want to hang out in situations where people aren't drinking? That's a different thing and a bit more limiting. But seriously. Mature adults deal with all sorts of reasons people won't drink. This isn't college. No one thinks your coolness is derived from crushing Miller lights. The only people I've ever seen ostracized from a group of adults are people who are unpleasant most frequently because they drank way too much. Edit. And honestly, in college no one worth hanging out with cared either. BDSM orgies. Biking club. Beltane festivals. Regional burns. MTG clubs. Etc. Drinking doesn't bring friends. School. Uni. Job. Conventions do though. If you spend your entire day jerking off at home. For sure you won't meet anyone else and therefore not make any friend. Alcohol has nothing to do with that. You drink with friends you already have. No one makes friends by drinking. An adult Redditor asking other adult Redditors on Reddit how to make friends. This is a stereotype surely. Motorcycles help me meet people and as a bonus if you're into guys you can pick up dudes easily with a motorcycle. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video don't forget to drop a like. If you would like to see more content like this in the future. Subscribe and turn on notifications to be notified about future videos. Now check out one of these interesting videos.